4 million, dude. What the? Alright, what's going on with this guy? We're only at one stack is the problem. We're not at two stacks. If I, if I use a different skill to get us at two stacks, this would probably be near instant, but... <laughs> Sir. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick2. Previously, I made a video talking about how companions are a bit broken currently while playing Graveborn and how you can actually inadvertently stack up the harvest skill infinitely, allowing you to do absolutely absurd amounts of damage. I wanted to make this video because I feel like largely most people using companion builds still don't know that this is happening, but on top of that, there's another way to take advantage of this bug and scale your damage up super crazily within just a few minutes, which I wanted to show you guys as well. So if you're looking to get to Chaos 20 really fast, or you just want to farm super quickly, or you want bosses to die in half a second like here, this is something that you can do. Honestly, I'm really hoping that this ends up getting patched because it makes it extremely difficult to compare the efficacy of different companion builds because all the different bugs that can occur, etc. It certainly just gets in the way of being able to tell how good or bad a companion build is. So honestly, I'm really looking forward to this getting fixed in the future. But while it exists, I figured that I would just show it to you guys and explain exactly what is going on so you know when you're using a companion build, why your damage randomly is really inconsistent and how you can take advantage of this with uh, multiple different characters if you wanted to. So if you guys did not see my previous video, I'm just gonna quickly recap here. Basically the skill on Graveborn Harvest is bugged currently let me just spec out the tree so i can get here a little bit um so basically what happens when you put three points into this is that any companion after you get a kill uh, your companion is going to deal bonus dark magic damage nine percent per stack so about 18 percent when you're at max stacks here basically whenever you get a kill let's say my companion does 100 damage um, in theory it'll do uh, 18 damage of bonus dark magic damage of course you scale a lot of your dark magic damage so it ends up being you know way higher than that whatever else but in theory that's how it's supposed to work what ends up happening is that if you have this kill skill active while you enter a portal it seems to retain that 18 percent and then just keep stacking on top of itself however it does not retain that buff when you don't have the kill skill active so let's say that i enter a portal the kill skill goes away until i end up actually getting a kill i'm not going to benefit from this extra damage this ends up scaling infinitely and this is the main reason that you see a lot of these companion builds end up doing insane amounts of damage because the longer that your play session is regardless of if you go to the overworld or if you go to other parts of the map this is just going to keep scaling uh most people think that it is Faithful Thralls when you pair it with Spore Warden. Uh, I want to talk about Faithful Thralls because that's kind of the main reason of this video, but I do want to mention that Faithful Thralls is not the reason that this gets absolutely insane. Harvest is the primary reason that this gets crazy. Seems a stack way higher than it is supposed to, but the thing is that you can pair this with Faithful Thralls to get additional damage. So Faithful Thralls, of course, is 9% damage per companion. If you just continuously do maps over and over again, you'll see that you get a bunch of mushroom companions in the sky whenever you are playing Spore Warden. The reason that this happens is basically when you enter a new area and you go through multiple load zones, um, it basically just tries to respawn a companion, but it keeps the other companion just in the middle, in the void. Um, and then that's going to just keep stacking Faithful Thralls. But of course, even if you're at like 30 stacks of this, this is only a 270% increase in damage, right? So going from 10,000 damage to 1 million damage isn't going to happen purely from Faithful Thralls. It mainly happens from Harvest, stacking a bunch of additional companion damage, which is going to work with Harvest. And then Harvest is then going to benefit from Faithful Thralls. So one way to actually make Faithful Thralls stack out of control immediately um, I'm going to demonstrate here. If you want to know everything about, you know, how to stack harvest very quickly as well, uh, this is pretty much going to pair perfectly with this, but I made a separate video actually demonstrating that. Currently, my build is just random stuff, and I don't really want to spec out into the tree, etc. And if you want an example of how harvest is actually bugged out, I made a completely separate video on that. So feel free to check that out today. I just want to show you guys how you can pair uh, this harvest bug with faithful thralls. So basically what you can do, by the way, um, I did not find this method. I watched a video of Osterberg501. Don't know if he found it either. I imagine multiple other people have found it, but credit to him regardless. So basically what you can do is just enter a chaos dungeon. Uh, previously, what I would do is I would get a kill and then I would leave and then I would uh, try to join back immediately so that I had those uh, harvest stacks and then you could just keep doing that over and over again. 
But here what you can do is you could decide to either, you know, still still try to take advantage of that setup and just get some enemy kills and then leave and then join back. But just for the purposes of this video, I just want to show you guys how you can quickly stack up Faithful Thralls. So you can join in there, leave. You can see that I'm at two stacks of Faithful Thralls. And then if you literally just walk outside of the zone, what's, what's going to end up happening is you just get an additional pet. And you can replicate this over and over again, getting up to as many stacks as you want. And if you do this on top of the Harvest Bug, you can basically scale your damage infinitely. I guess you could do this as long as you wanted to. Um, of course, I don't think it's worth doing more than like for like 5 to 10 minutes or something because... You get to a point where your damage is one-shotting everything anyway, so it's kind of unnecessary. But as you can see, I'm just going to wait here for a second, and then, um, yeah, I got a little... I got my Mushroom Companion back, and as you can see, I am now at three stacks of Faithful Thralls. And just to give you guys another example, we'll do it again real quick. If you're wondering how long this lasts or how high you can stack it up, I'm pretty sure you can stack it infinitely, and it is going to last as long as you don't go into the menu. So you can do literally any other form of content in the game run around, do the main story, do, you know, all kinds of things, and you'll retain it. So as you can see, I entered the portal here, and then my Mushroom Companion still has not spawned in, but once he spawns in, then I'll be at three stacks again. There I'm at three stacks. And then I could just leave again and do this rinse and repeat as many times as I wanted to. Pair this with the Harvest setup, and then stacking a whole bunch of insane companion damage within your build. Stacking the additional Dark Magic damage is what I would actually prefer to do, just increasing your Dark Magic damage. Overall, that's just going to give you a crazy amount of damage for the setup. What I'd recommend doing if you intend on using this is using a weapon that transforms into a pixie companion. These are going to count com for companions, not for faithful thralls, but for harvest. And this just enables you to pretty much on demand take full advantage of harvest, just doing all that extra damage. If you're relying just on your companions to proc this, it's just going to be a lot slower when clearing maps. As you can see in the gameplay, I am using a pixie companion. But here I'm just going to show you that you can get to four stacks. Again, if you want to see how harvest actually interacts and you want like proof that it functions like that i have a separate video on that i didn't want to you know make this video any longer than it needed to be but as you can see i'm at four stacks there so yeah um in the gameplay that i'm going to show you guys i am at like 30 stacks and i stacked up my harvest a little bit i think i played for like an hour long and was able to get it this crazy you could easily just do this bug for a few minutes get you know 10 faithful thrall stacks get your harvest stacked up a little bit and you can end up just playing but the thing is is that even if you don't take advantage of this this will happen inadvertently if you're just playing for a decent period of time i imagine you guys have seen a lot of build videos where they don't even have like optimal setups but their mushroom companion is randomly doing like a million damage or maybe you've even just been playing your companion build and you notice that when you first started playing it didn't seem very good but then after one or two runs you're seeming to do way more damage and then the fifth run you're just one shotting bosses and you're like oh my god companion builds are broken i've seen a lot of this rhetoric on reddit that companion builds are broken and are probably the strongest thing in the game and i have to disagree i've tried rather optimal setups in this gameplay i'm using a fairly optimal setup of this build and even with that um, the initial floor you can do fairly well like you can complete it without any problems and you can kill bosses you know decently fast but it's not nearly as fast as other setups and it does not just immediately get, do like 500k damage per shot right it ends up just scaling over and over again as a result of these bugs so so because of that i really hope that this stuff ends up getting patched i'm not really a fan of it existing within the game because i actually want to test a lot of companion builds and make some insane stuff with it but it's kind of difficult when everybody's going to be comparing it to this broken version of itself where oh if your mushroom companion isn't doing 1 million damage uh, your build is not very good you know what i mean so anyway hope this gets patched uh feel free to utilize it as much as you want i kind of wanted to just make this a simple video just to show you guys hey this exists in the game technically i don't think there's any other interaction in the game that allows you to get this much damage because in theory it can just stack infinitely maybe if you're using like buff meister or something you get really high damage but this is easily something for you guys that are playing like a uh, clawbringer or whatever you can play any character with this, it uh, doesn't really matter as long as you just have Graveborn as your second and you're taking advantage of Harvest, this will work. But of course, if you want the Faithful Thrall thing to work, uh, you want to play with Spore Warden. That's pretty much it for the video. I have um, a whole bunch of extra build videos coming out in the future, so feel free to subscribe for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.